Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Um, yay, finally, we have Capricorn here. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I really hope that you do stay. I would love it if you would. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I got Dream in Color. And when this came out, it flipped over. So like this was, the back was faced up. And every time I try to pick it up, it kept flipping. It wouldn't show me what the damn card was. And this card is all about, you know, dreams or wishes your heart makes or like bringing a dream into reality basically. So it's hoping that your wishes come true. Um, thinking that a connection is just a fantasy or fantasizing about a connection, wondering if it could ever be a reality. And I don't know if it's now is not the time or if one of you isn't seeing the potential of this connection anymore or at all, if they ever did. Um, then we have back to the good old times. It's almost like someone thinks that this can't happen. Some of you might have an ex that wants to return or you're the one that wants to return to an ex or a past person. I'll say past person because some of you, it could be involving an ex, someone that you dated. While others of you, it's just someone that you've known, you know, you've been crushing on them, whatever. So you know who they are. They're from your quote unquote past because a second ago is our past, you know, could just be from yesterday. But for most of you, it's been longer than that. Um, someone's very reminiscent, but they, they don't think that this dream can become a reality. They want it to, though. It's just so complicated. It's at the bottom of the deck. So someone's, there are some obstacles here between you and this person. And whoever, I feel like I just, I don't know how to make this a reality. I don't know how to get you back, get this back. I think I fucked something up is what I feel. I don't know if that's you or them. But somebody feels like they screwed up in some way, shape, or form. And they're never going to be able to get you back or to get things back to the way that they used to be. Like when you two were talking, when you were on good terms, when you two dated, whatever it is to you guys. Um, and I also wanna say I am working on personals. I've got one uploading now and I'm hoping that this reading doesn't get cut off. If it does, there'll be a part two, it is what it is. I'm doing a test to see how many videos I can record at a time with my storage. But anyways, um, if you'd like a personal, my email's in the box below. Just email me. I'll give you the information you need. And if you're waiting on one, they're coming because I'm working on them now. I'm alternating. So anyways, we also got Tornado. And this is like the Tower card. And that was clarified with ready to take control and lead. I feel like someone's going to take control over the situation out of fucking nowhere. And it's possibly the person who's given up hope in the situation. Because there's someone who is no longer investing their energy into this situation anymore. They're no longer like pining for the other person or I'm going to say actively pining. So it's like, I wish things would have worked out, but they didn't. You know, I did what I could. Peace, you know. Um, whoever was being stuck and stagnant and not moving it forward initially, forcing the other one to walk away. It's now taking the lead, like, and they're taking the lead really suddenly is what I'm feeling. Um, and it could cause, it's going to cause shock, just going to say, you're going to be like, whoa, I didn't see this coming. Like, I had to walk away from your ass or something like that um, because you didn't want this, but now you want it. What the hell's going on? I don't know. It's going to be very confusing, but I feel like if there's any karmics around or um, there could be an altercation coming up, like, especially if there's more than one person involved in this situation like he's mine she's mine or even if they're not yours or whatever I just I feel like there's either people fighting over you or there's a potential argument coming up because someone you like or someone you want is moving on or you're moving on and someone that likes you I don't know it's like there's an outside person that wants in so there's like you your love interest and unless you're the outsider I don't know who is who here but anyways there's an outsider you 
and a love interest and this love interest is going to come in and this outside person is like oh fuck no and it's like a argument like I don't know if they're going to argue with you or if they're going to argue with this person that comes in but whatever it is it's creating drastic change because I feel like it's an unhealthy situation that somebody's in anyways it's going to create the change the necessary change for the situation anyways transformation um earning back trust starting from the bottom and a reconciliation is coming yeah so an ex might want to reconcile with you or you want to reconcile with an ex or this past person is just coming in and it's like I know you don't trust me or the situation because I didn't move it forward or my communication sucked or I chose someone over you or whatever the fuck happened between the two of you I feel like someone's going to really step up to the plate and be like, okay, what do I need to do to make this work? You know, I just saw that orb go. Shoot. Um, because I'm so unhappy without you. Like I want, I want you back. I want you in my life. I didn't realize how bad I needed you or how bad I wanted you until you fucking exited, you know, until you left. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Gonna walk all over you? Someone was walking all over you, or the situation, or that's what you did. Someone did. Someone was taking advantage of someone, is what I'm gonna say, because it could be you or them, flip flop, vice versa, whatever. But I feel like. Whoever was taking advantage of the situation or the person, potentially you, is coming in like Miley Cyrus, like the wrecking ball, to make change in the situation. Like, I shouldn't have taken advantage of your, your time, your energy, your love, your whatever. Like, you know, I'm finally seeing what this connection means to me. I'm recognizing your worth. Like, you're, th there's nobody comparable to you, and I was dumb to think that that this option was better that option or that I would have a better life without you kind of thing because I feel like this person is really fucking missing you I'm just gonna say and they're coming in like I said like Miley Cyrus like boom bitch I'm here let's change this shit that's crazy someone had a ah -ha moment is what I'm feeling so what I got the chills my nose is running it's driving me crazy. Anyway, so what's up with Cappy and that person? Ouch, these cards are sharp. It's the only thing I, I hate about shuffling them. The edges always poke me. All right, what's this? We have fulfillment. The high priestess of fire could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and playful. Could have been dealing with a fuck boy, fuck girl, something like that. Someone who wants their cake and eat it too. Now they're seeing the fulfillment in this situation to turn around. They're realizing that what I thought I wanted over here is not fulfilling me. You, you fulfill me. You light my soul on fire. I don't know. They're very sexually drawn to you. I'm just going to say you're drawn to them. I feel like both of you are like hot damn with each other. Just going to say. Um, so this connection could have started off very passionate i'll say lustful you know like i want to do you do you do you let's let's fucking play so i almost feel like somebody might have fallen in love with a player or fell in love with somebody that they were messing around with like oh we're just having a good time kind of thing and for some reason i'm feeling like one of you was emotionally invested in this connection like oh i really like you and the other person was like Oh, I like you too. Like, I want to take your clothes off kind of thing. So it's almost like falling falling for someone you were just playing around with. So I don't know if that's you or them, but whoever was the player person, the one that was just like, oh, this is just casual. We're having a good time, whatever. Um, you know, possibly drunk sex or whatever. Um, or just drinking together and having a good time. That person caught feelings. Yep. What the fuck? I just heard, uh, uh, it's those all, it's a pass where it's like a VIP pass. Like uh, I heard all admission or something. So it's, you know, those passes you get in an amusement park or a bracelet day or something where you can ride all the fucking rides. It's like a free pass, but it's a card that you have or a bracelet. 
this person, I just saw them like hanging up that card, hanging up their bracelet, throwing it away, whatever. Like my player days are behind me now because you make me want to settle down. You make me want to be a better man, better woman, something like that. Like, you're all I ever wanted. You're all I ever needed. And I want you back. What is that? Is that in sync or something? In sync back? I don't know. I think it's in sync. <laughs> I have not heard that song since. It was on the radio like forever ago. That's fucking funny. You're all I've ever wanted. This person didn't realize that you were all they've ever wanted. Like, I kind of feel like they did, but they didn't. It's like, wow, I see potential here. Like, you've got it going on in a bunch of different ways. And I like it. Like, I'm fulfilled when I'm around you. You, you light my soul on fire. You make, you make me hard as a rock kind of thing. Like, make me go, oh, hot jam. You're a lot of fun to be around. You're the whole motherfucking package. Why didn't I see it before my head's tingling like crazy? Take a fucking trip. You might have traveled with this person or you talked about it. You want to go on a trip. This person might want to take a trip to see you. And if they're around anybody else, they might be lying to that person saying, oh, I'm going on a work trip or a vacation or whatever. But they're coming to fucking see you or that's what you're doing. Someone is. But I feel like I want to take you on the trips that we talked about or... Um, go to the places that, that either you said or they said or that you guys talked about, like, that we never went on, the dates we never went on. Um, I want to court you properly. Fuck, it's <laughs> these 90s songs. 90s music might be a, an integral part of this connection. Maybe you relate to that or they do because I'm getting um, Britney Spears, like, hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> someone's missing you I'm just gonna say and they didn't think that they would uh, maybe somebody had a crush on Britney Spears when they were a teenager or something or you just really liked her or something or in sync even maybe those are like the bands that you were into or your person or something self-love taking care of me now yeah you're my fulfillment and you're off fulfilling yourself. You're not filling this person's cup up anymore. You know what it's making me think of? A dream that I had where a friend of mine and my ex were in the living room. It was like around Thanksgiving or something. And I was filling up their glasses with whiskey, like making them a whiskey and ginger ale or something. And I didn't put much in my ex's glass, but I filled up my friend's glass full which the cup of love, you know, I filled that up and there was none left for me. So it's almost like, I feel like one, one person in this situation was giving and giving and giving, filling, you know, making somebody fulfilled, filling up their cup, whether it was a friend and ex or whoever, that was just my dream. Um, but there was nothing left for you or for whoever was doing that. And now whoever did that is worried about themselves is taking care of themselves. It's like, no, I'm pouring this love back into my damn cup. Like, um, you can keep the love that I gave you. I'm not going to take it back, but I'm not giving any more, you know, I'm putting that in me, which is beautiful. Vacation, relaxation, unwind, getaway would take a fucking trip. Some of you need a vacation. Some of you really need to take time off work and take time for yourself. Um, if you have vacation time, do it. I feel like over the summer, some of you are planning vacations. Some of you want to go camping. Or just go on a fucking trip. I feel road trip energy, even if it's just an hour drive. Some of you just need to get out of a uh, stuck and stagnant routine and go do something else and do it for yourself so that you feel better. Some of you are taking a vacation or you're on hiatus from this fucking connection. Like, it's it looks like it's over, but it's not over because they feel like you would take this person back if they came in correct or vice versa. But I do feel like someone was very selfish in this situation and they're seeing the error in their ways and they want to change, change that queen, boss, babe, independent and strong over high priestess of fire. You are a strong ass bitch or you're seeing that your person is stronger than you thought they were. Um, this is just owning your shit and knowing that 
that you're good enough on your own, that you don't need anybody. Um, so if anyone was dealing with insecurities and thinking that they, they needed a partner, that they, they couldn't do something on their own, that they weren't very independent, even though they wanted to be, they're realizing that I am strong enough. I am good enough. I can do this, you know? So like a passion has been reignited within somebody to work on themselves and to, um, just make their life better regardless of who the fuck's in their life. And I kind of feel like that might be you or a fire sign that you're dealing with, but you could be embodying that energy. It's like take charge energy. Um, but this person, you're like a queen to them, king or queen. They're sorry. You are a gem. Yeah, they're realizing your worth. And this person wants to come in and apologize for playing with your emotions, for not taking you seriously, for saying for telling you what you want to hear for doing this or that or whatever they were doing because there's flaky energy here like I'm just having a good time you know I thought you were too but they knew you weren't they knew you wanted more and they fucked with your emotions that's what I'm feeling 1606 exactly and they want to apologize for that because they're seeing that you're you're their queen you're a queen or a king male female doesn't matter but this person they want to be worthy of of you or maybe they didn't feel worthy and that's why they're fucking around but um you're my queen you know what i keep picturing with this is those fucking t-shirts or sweatshirts that couples get that say king and queen or his his queen her king something like that that's here i feel like i want to level up with you i want to apologize for being a fucking dick or a bitch playful this person was playing around with the kitty cats, just saying. Could have been playing around with a karmic too as well. Like going back to an ex or um, someone that just wasn't healthy for them. For some of you, this person is a karmic individual to you. Yeah, they want to apologize. They want to clean up the mess they made. This person was fucking around. They just were. They're having their cake and eating it too. Um, letting go of what no longer serves you. And I feel like you let go of this person or they let go of you. Someone walked away and they're pouring their love back into themselves. They're bossing the fuck up, doing what they need to do for them. They're being seen. They're being noticed. Lots of options here. Like, this is one hot motherfucker. Like, he or she's got it going on. Um, they're physically attractive. They're driven. They're passionate. They're creative. They're fun. They're free. They're, they're everything. They're the whole damn package is what I'm feeling. And that's why this person was drawn to you in the first place. But they didn't realize that they caught feelings when they were being a douche nozzle, basically. And they want to apologize for that because the connection between the two of you is more meaningful to them than than any other connection that they, that they were fucking involved in, basically. Yeah, it's a cycle. This person, it's a pattern with this person. And I do feel like this karmic cycle has closed out. So you're no longer dealing with unhealthy people. And I feel like this person is closing out unhealthy cycles. They're moving on. They're moving on to the next. They're moving on um, from an outdated situation. They're watching you move on and they don't want to. They're going to travel to you. For some of you, this person does live at a distance. They want to show you some love, some affection. But I feel like this can't be over. This can't be it. Um, this person could be younger than you. They're running out of fucking time, though, I'm just going to say. Because I feel like you one in a million special love. I swear, you are something very special to this person. And it's almost like now that you realize your worth, and even if you always knew your worth, now you're you're showing this person like, hey, I am fucking worthy. Piss off, you know. They're they're really scared about approaching you. Time to confront issues to make a move. This person had to go within and deal with some dark night of the soul bullshit and realize the error in their way is like that you can't treat people that way because when you do, you don't get what you want. You know what I mean? You don't get the good things. You get the bad things. Um, I kind of feel like you guys will just go with the flow. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you'd be open and receptive to this person where, you know, you won't tell them to kick rocks or kiss off or anything. You'll, 
you'll be open um, to lit to hear them out at the very least. But I do feel like a lot of you do want this person back, but you can make it work for it. And rightfully fucking so. They can't stop thinking about you. You're the queen of my fucking universe, my world. Um, I want to touch you. I want to hold you. I want to love you. I want to kiss you. I want to be with you. I want to travel with you. I, I just, I feel this inner, oh, like the fucking tornado. This person is going crazy internally. They're driving themselves nuts thinking about you. It's reversed because I feel like before when this person was playing games with you, you were thinking about them nonstop and, and doting on them ultimately, like compliments, all that shit. Like you were just very giving is what I'm feeling or someone was. And now this person, now that you're gone, you're not doing that. This person is going insane thinking about you. They're a little obsessed. They are going to come in this summer. I'm just going to say we are in the summer months now. Um, but the situation's heating up for sure. But I feel like, I don't know, there's a lot of sexual desire here. And in order for this to really work out in your, to work out in your favor, it sounded like somebody just like pulled in my driveway really quick. Um, somebody's coming in really quick. I'm just going to say like, they got a lot to fucking say. And I feel like they're, it's almost like last minute, man, I just heard. So at the last minute, psh, here I am, you know, I'm here. Don't worry. Don't go away kind of thing. But what the fuck was I saying? They're, they're obsessive withhold sex is what I'm getting at. Um, I feel like you guys would have a hard time doing that because I want to just like, I feel like I just want to grab you. Um, but it will be more beneficial if you make them work for it kind of thing or vice versa. We have snail's pace, slow progress, reevaluate. Yeah, they're reevaluating their actions and they're slowly coming back to clean up the mess that they made. Transformation. Yeah, we have that twice. Through pain and tragedies, I, ri I rise up like the phoenix. Could be dealing with Scorpio as well. Or there's a Scorpio in here. Um... For some reason, this makes me think of the Knight of Pentacles, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be you or another Earth sign, but I'm slowly transforming my life, this situation. I feel like this is kind of what I was saying, like make them work for it. Yeah, they're going to come in and clean up the mess. You can have a good time. I do feel like don't play hard to get because that's going to really drive this person crazy and it could push them away. I don't feel like they'll run It'll take a lot for this person to run, basically, but they basically want to apologize for um, things being very one-sided, and they're pretty ashamed, so they're taking their sweet-ass time. It's taking a long time for this person to come around, to fucking speak up, to take the lead, to take control, um, and that's why it's going to feel like this tower energy, this tornado, like they just whip in in the last minute, like, wow, I feel like it might shock you. Like, I was not expecting you to be here because, um, how, how many years, how many months did it, did it take for you to even realize what this connection is, you know, to even see me? Cause I saw you this whole time and you didn't give two fly fucks about me for X amount of time. And now all of a sudden, boom, you're here. Oh, they saw you the whole time. They knew what they were doing was fucking wrong or was fucked up. They knew that they're hurting you or upsetting you or whatever. Um, and they want to make those positive changes now, basically. They want to apologize. They're a little obsessed. Because you're getting attention. All eyes are on you. If you guys have mutual friends, some of their friends like you too or whatever. Or even family. I don't know. There's people that both of you know mutually that actually like you or interested in you, at least sexually interested in you. And it makes this person mad because they know that you could choose them or anyone else. It's almost like, I do not want to see one of my friends with Cappy or whatever, like Cappy's mine or, you know, whatever. Turning over a new leaf, the 4th of July could be significant. I just feel like you light up my life. Um, loving, passionate intimacy. Because intimacy, like, fuck boys and fuck girls, they're not intimate moments. It, that's fucking. That's, there's a difference between fucking and making love. 
And I feel like this person wants to go from meaningless sex to, you know, intimate moments. And that's more than just sex, too. Um, this person is detoxing from something that could be abstaining from sex or drugs, alcohol, whatever. I feel like their player ways. They're detoxing from options, ultimately. This person is pulling away from the world and changing their MO, basically, is what I'm getting. Yeah, they're dealing with a karmic situation who's being a char who's charming their butt off. And I feel like they're not going to fall for it no more because they met their soulmate. They met their match. They met you. It is going to cause a little bit of a headache when this person comes in or when you whip into their life because I do. Oh, yeah, because of the snake. I was going to say because of the karmic. Because they're, this is where the fight's coming in. Oh, the snake's been gossiping about you or about this connection or something. Truths are going to be exposed and the, the snake's going to be exposed, basically. You know what's weird? Is the other day when I was sitting outside, I killed a baby snake or a little snake with the chair by accident. I didn't mean to. But I looked over because I saw it move and I was like, oh, fuck a snake, you know? But I'm like, oh, wait, it's stuck. I killed it. And I'm like... So it's almost like because that's popping in my head now, some action that either you did or your love interest did is killing the snake and you didn't even realize it. You got rid of the snake without even realizing it. Someone did. Trauma, drama, fights, and arguments. But there's somebody else here that's going to cause problems. What is that? Block dissension. Yeah, there's someone who's obsessed with you or you're obsessed with somebody. This is not your love interest. This is not your person. This is somebody who's very unhealthy, who's probably going to try to control the situation. This is where the fight's coming in. Someone might get fucking cuffed upside the head or I just feel like, fuck you, fuck you, you know, that type of shit. Like, he's mine, she's mine, go fuck yourself, blah, 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 blah whatever. I don't know. I feel like... I'm getting the chills really bad. This might be where the complicated issue is. Somebody might even try to push themselves on you or on your person or something um, because they just, they can't stand it anymore. That's gonna upset someone, I'm just gonna say. I don't feel like it will go full on, you know, whatever, but I do feel like you're gonna see the dark side of someone because they can't contain themselves and I feel like if they drink or do so they'll do something stupid and this is a karmic person this is somebody that obviously you don't want to sleep with somebody you don't want to be with intimately like that because they're trying to force themselves on you there's also gossip going around that you slept with somebody that you didn't sleep with or that your person did be careful of rumors gossip and hearsay because I just heard because not everybody's your friend. Not everybody means you well. There are people talking shit, period. There just there just are. I don't know. So let's see. What action is this person going to take right quick before this shuts off on me? Well, you could be dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this is you. We have the Four of Cups. I feel like either you rejected somebody initially... Or they rejected you and now they're coming in with an offer it's almost like the divine sent this person to your life or vice versa and either you or them whoever got the offer was like eh, I don't want to know I'm good um, I'm good on my own kind of thing or I'm good in this outdated situation whatever they didn't see the value in your cup or their cup or whatever but now it's coming back around but the offer this time is coming from them to you or coming from the other person ultimately because there was a realization yeah because i can't fucking stop thinking about you you're my you're happy you make me happy happy you could be dealing with a leo there's soulmate energy here there could be children involved somebody might feel stuck in a situation because they knock somebody up or because because of children um like what do i do here so there could be an outdated family situation that needs to go kaput or a marriage somebody could be going through a divorce um but I do feel like you might have known this person for a long time. They make you really happy. Somebody's realizing that you're their soulmate or that this is very significant. You might be realizing that. 
I feel trapped in a situation. It's almost like with this, I feel like I really want that cup. I know that it's good. It's a good offer. It's a good opportunity, but I'm stuck. What do I do? I, I can't get out of this marriage, this situation, this karmic, whatever. You know, I got to pay my child support, alimony. I've got to take care of my kids, my family, my whatever, my family situation. I got to work. <clears throat> I got to work um, on my finances. I'm working together with somebody. I'm collaborating because of kids. There's a family situation here that someone's stuck in. And it left either you or them waiting. Someone was investing in the wrong person or situation and they're realizing that now. And they want to fly in with communication. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's either stuck with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, that's who's coming in. There's an apology. That's who's coming in. I'm sorry. I kind of feel like somebody's apologizing to the king of cups male female doesn't matter we have two masculine energies here so if you and your person are both vibing in masculine energy no matter what your you know your sex is that could be why you guys are button heads because it's like a superiority thing like you both are in control when neither one of you actually are yeah there's love here i'm sorry i love you i want this Hmm. The new beginning. There's love and passion here. This person's going to come in and make an offer. Yeah, they want to reconcile because somebody was up in their head and didn't know what to do, what direction to go in, how to get out of this situation and move this connection forward before, but they do now. Like, I want to heal this. How do I heal this? How, how can we work through this? How can we work on us? How can we get around this bullshit, this obsessive person? Don't worry, you will. You'll figure it out. Yeah. This could be a Cancerian involved in this situation, but I do feel like the two of you will collaborate and work together and move forward. Somebody might be getting a car. Somebody's holding a car over someone's head or there's like financial ties here. If there's no children, there's financial ties between you and an ex or that's what your person's dealing with. Could be just a karmic situation. Um, somebody might be saving their money for a car as well. So they can get out of Dodge, so they can move to calmer water. There's that road trip too. Someone might just be getting in their car and coming to fucking see you or you to them. Somebody was very guarded. Yeah, they're coming in like Miley Cyrus. Like I said, there's the fucking tower and look what it brings in. This love offer for a new beginning. Whoops. Let's work on shit. Gosh darn it. Because I'm not in hermit mode no more. I thought this to death, basically. I I can't sit here and think about you and wonder who you're with, what you're doing, if you're okay, if you're not okay, you know, if you love me, if you hate me. I need to know. Somebody needs answers. They're really hoping that you don't hate them, that you'll accept their offer, that you'll move forward with them. But, you know, it's ultimately up to you. I do feel this change. This, I feel this change, yeah. I feel the situation is changing for the better regardless of who you end up with, but I do feel like this person really fucking wants you and they didn't want you before or they acted that way, I should say. So 3333 three, three is what I just saw. That could be significant. Who knows? Get some fucking sleep. Somebody is not sleeping well because they're up in their head. You need a fuck you need a big fucking hug. Squeeze. This person wants to give you a hug and let you know that they care. Drop the fucking ego. Yeah, they're gonna drop their ego or you are. Someone is but that's what I have for you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, I just feel like you fell in love with a player. And the player got played ultimately because they ended up falling for you. It's so funny too. Because they were playing fast and loose with their fulfillment. Because there's that little symbol and it's on the wine glass. And this cat's like playing with it. Like... Oh, I'm right here. No, I'm not. Uh-uh. You know, I'm just going to mess around. Just messing around. Messing around with your feelings. Well, guess what? When they messed around with your feelings, they ended up getting hurt. Because they realized that, uh-oh, that's who I want. Oh, it's so funny when that happens. Karma's a bitch, ain't it? 
I love you a long time. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.